hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show how to design a church flyer using adobe photoshop without any further ado let's get started so now this is our working area and this is 1080 by 1080 pixels so the first thing we are going to do now we are going to copy the color code we are going to use on this tutorial then go to your test document and over here then ctrl plus c to copy the ends code come over to your solid color ctrl plus v to paste you can also right click over here and paste it so after this one then the next we are going to select this background over here scale it a little you bring it down and position it around here okay then change the blending mode to overlay apply layer mask select your brush or gradient tool over here and you blend the top here something like this it's okay after this one so the next thing we are going to do then we are going to apply you know, highlights then import this highlight over here and take it over to this position click ok and you are we are going to change the blending mode to overlay then ctrl plus j to duplicate this one or you drag it over here to make a duplicate and position it around here okay and the next one now we are going to do we are going to import this communion over here then position it over here and reduce the size like this then we are going to reduce the opacity to 53 percent all right then apply your layer mask select your brush and we are going to blend the bottom over here and the side here so the next one we are going to import this one over here then reduce the size take it up and position it over here okay then we are going to change the blending mode to pin lights pin lights then apply your layer mask then select your gradient tool or your brush anyone then come over here make sure that you change it to black and white then you can now blend it something like this so now the next one we are going to reduce the opacity to 57 percent so that is it then we are going to create a new layer but before this new layer then we are going to come over to this position and import this image over here then take it to this position now change the blending mode to soft lights then apply your layer mask select your brush and i'm going to clean off this area something like this then reduce the opacity to 56 percent 
then it will give you something like this. So now come to your layer and we are going to select our brush then come over here and we are going to make use of Tons paper brush okay over here then I'm going to select this one okay then reduce the size and apply it over here so something like this having done this one on then the next we are going to apply or to bring in our test then go to your resource file and over here i'm going to import the church logo reduce the size Then come over here to copy the church name, select your test tool, then change the font color to white and reduce the character spacing to 0%. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then we are going to reduce the size then open the space by five percent then i'm going to duplicate it ctrl plus j to duplicate why i will position this one over here select and alight it then come over here to make a copy of this one then come over to your design and control plus v to paste then control plus a to select all or you can come over to the select on the menu then you click here to select all then apply vertical alignment then control plus d to deselect or you come over here you will see deselect now i'm going to increase the character space a little bit something like this is okay all right so having done this one the next one then we are going to make a copy of our topic control plus control plus c to copy then select your test to control plus v to paste and come over here to remove the character spacing by 0% and the font we are going to use over here is Scottisha then increase the font size okay then Having increased the font size, now we are going to apply a blending mode to this. Then select your blending option. Then go to your bevel and emboss. Then make use of this setting you are seeing here. I'm using inner bevel, chisel hard, then, and the depth is 150, the size is 5. Then angle 90%, the altitude is 30%, and I'm using this contour over here. So as you can see, and this one, the, the highlight mode is 75%, while the shadow mode is 40%. Now, come over to gradient overlay. So without wasting much of time, so I have already prepared it, and the code is over here. So this is the code, you can make use of it. Now, having created this one now, and the last one, then we are going to use our drop shadow with this setting. So then follow the process over here, and I'm going to click OK to save our time. All right.
then you can select all then apply vertical alignment to centralize it then come over here to deselect this line now i'm going to select my test tool then come over here and copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then this one i'm going to change the font to bebas new so then this is bebas new over here then you select it and make it bold ctrl plus v to paste then open the character space something like this it's okay now come over here and copy this color code this is the color code ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste then come over here then to apply this drop shadow so this is the same setting we are using then click ok ctrl plus a to select all align it center then ctrl plus d to deselect you can use your mouse then to drag it up all right so having done this one now the next one we are going to do is the image then go to your resource document and we are going to import this image reduce the size then position it over here now we are going to brighten the image go to your image select adjustments and brightness increase this one then also increase the constructs it's okay like this then now we are going back to our adjustment and select vibrance then increase the size 24 percent is okay then i'm going to leave the saturation by zero percent all right so then after this one now so the next thing then we are going to draw a rent angle from this position down here then we are going to make use of this color ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste and reduce the opacity to 80% then come over to your test document and first copy this one ctrl plus c to copy select your test tool then change the font color to white and remove the character spacing by 0% then ctrl plus v to paste and we are going to change the font to the Jacqueline then I will position it over here then copy this one ctrl plus c to copy now select your test tool ctrl plus v to paste and change the font to poppins then make it medium then reduce the font size now we are going to change the font then make use of this font from here right so having done this one now see the next one then is to then copy the dates ctrl plus c to copy then select your test to change the font to white then make the font bold 
Ctrl plus V to paste. Then reduce the font size. Come to your resource file and I'm going to import this icon. Reduce the size. Ctrl plus U for hue and saturation. Then you drag this one to apply white background. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate this one. Then go to your test document, make a copy of this one, then select your test tool, Ctrl plus A to select all, and Ctrl plus V to paste. Now we are going to increase the size of this one. Then come over here and copy this one. Then we are going to make a duplicate of this one. Drag it down here to duplicate it. And bring it down. Select your test tool. Highlight it. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now we are going to change the font color to this then increase the size increase this one a little and position it somewhere here now we are going to import icon for the time Reduce the size. Then hold your Ctrl plus U and drag this one over here. Then go to your test document. Ctrl plus C to copy. Select your test tool. Change the font color to white. Ctrl plus V to paste. Right. So now hold your shift key while you select this one. Then use your arrow key to drag it back so that it will be aligned together with this one. Alright, so having done this one now, so the next one is the location. So we are going to import the location icon and reduce the size. Then come over to your test document and make a copy. Ctrl plus C to copy, select your test tool, then now we are going to change the font color to black, Ctrl plus V to paste, then change the boldness then to semi bold. Now reduce the font size. So, all right, we have done everything now. So the last one we are going to do then is to 
import this light flare reduce the size then go to your blending mode and change it to screen position it over here then apply your layer mask select your brush then we are going to make use of our soft brush we are going to blend the edges over here then we are going to blend it something like this so now we are done with the design thank you so much for watching if you like this tutorial please remember to subscribe share and don't forget to join the membership channel on my youtube then if you want any of my flyer then you can also go to my father account the link is in the description so you can go to my father account to make any order of your designs also then you can use tubebody to optimize your channel the link is in the description as well thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more video i really appreciate